the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Last year's co-league champs battled it out at Harmon Field as the Vanwar Cougars clashed with the Wapakoneer Redskins. The Cougars came out on top in the last meeting, 55 to 45. Picking up the action in the second half, Wapak down 19 to nothing. Caleb Moyer connects with Grant Jolly for a 38-yard touchdown pass. The Skins get on the board. They trail 19 to six after the extra point. To the fourth quarter, Wapak with the ball at the two-yard line. Moyer hands it off to Jace Naus. An easy two-yard rush cuts Van Wert's lead to five. It's four and one for the Cougars, and they attempt to punt the ball with 12 seconds left, and the punt is blocked by Tyler Hauser, is recovered by Jordan Schneider, and Schneider returns it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. That's the game winner as the Skins erase a 19-point deficit to win 20 to 19. Good morning, Wampagan High School. These are your morning announcements for Monday, September 12th. Do you need help with your homework or just a quiet place to do it? Well, you are in luck because student assist time SAT is starting tomorrow in the library from 3 to 4.30. SAT will take place every Tuesday and Thursday of the week, so come and get your work done and stay off the ICU list. Seniors, please consider planning a college visit this autumn. Information is in the guidance office. The University of Finley is offering a health care program through the College of Pharmacy on Friday, October 14th. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Epperly. St. Mary's is hosting a college fair today. It is 5.30 to 7 at the high school. All are welcome to attend this event. Seniors, you can apply for free at Miami University through October 31st of this year. There will be several college reps in our building to talk with seniors and juniors. A sign-up sheet will be given to junior and senior, senior English teachers. If you're not currently in an English class, please contact Mrs. Epperly to sign up. Any 8th grade student interested in joining Quiz Bowl this year, please sign up outside of B121, Mrs. Schneider's room. Competitions will be Mondays beginning September 26th through October 24th. So please be available those days if you hope to participate. Students bringing guests from out of town to the homecoming dance will need to get a guest form turned in. Forms are available outside the high school office. These forms are due tomorrow and no late forms will be accepted. Tickets for the homecoming dance are on sale. Go to walkbox.org and click the menu tab to find the special events ticket ordering link to find the tickets. Cost is $10 per ticket and there is no fee attached to this cost. Wapak Riders will meet again this year. If you are interested in being a part of this group during RR, we will begin meeting this Wednesday. Please scan the QR code outside of Mrs. Lamar's room, B205, to sign up. All riders are welcome. The VFW has two scholarship opportunities available. The Voice of Democracy is an essay and recording contest. There is a Young American Creative Patriotic Art Contest. Both of these are for grades 9 through 12. Please get a nomination form from the Guidance Office Bulletin Board. The cross-country teams competed at the Spencerville Invitational on Saturday. The high school boys were led by a stellar third-place performance from Axon Fosnaw, followed by a wonderful team effort with Cash Adel 12th, Hayden Sell 19th, Crew Allen 24th, Noah Schlosser 28th, and Peyton Moyer 29th. The high school girls were led by Lilith Lotzenheiser and Marielle Augsburger, placing 17th and 18th overall, followed by Ashley Elkins in 29th place. The junior high girls team placed third overall with Kenzie Schneider placing fourth, Kayla Kohler ninth, Hannah Lee 33rd, Grace Burnfield 42nd, and Ella Kohler 50th in the 130 plus runner field. The junior high boys were led by Reed Miller who placed 26 in the 150 plus runner field. Good luck to the sports teams competing tonight. Girls soccer is traveling to Van Wert. Boys golf is home against Shawnee. Girls tennis is home against Salina, and girls golf is home against Delphus Jefferson. For lunch today, we'll be having Dutch waffle slash syrup, chicken strips, hash brown, carrot coins, and juice, or egg and cheese on a bun. Have a great day, and go Skins!